Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Public finance taxation. Taxation may be defined as the act or method of imposing a compulsory levy by the government or its agency on individuals and firms or on goods and services. White tax can be defined as a compulsory levy imposed by the government or its agency on individuals and firms or on goods and services, irrespective of the exact amount of services rendered to the taxpayer in return and not imposed as a penalty for any legal offense. Classes of tax There are three classes of tax and they are progressive tax system, proportional tax system, and regressive tax system. Progressive tax system This is a tax system where higher tax rates falls on high income earners and low tax rates on low income earners. In other words, the high income earners pay more tax than the low income earners. Example, pay as you earn. Proportional tax system. Under this system, every taxpayer pays equal proportion of his or her income. The slight difference between proportional and progressive tax system is that while progressive tax rate varies with income, proportional tax rate is usually fixed. But the amount of tax payable varies in both cases. Regressive tax system This tax system calls for a higher tax rate on the low income earners than the high income earners. In other words, the proportion removed as tax from taxpayers from taxpayers' income decreases as income increases. Principles of a good tax system The following are the principles of a good tax system otherwise known as canon of tax system. 1. Equity or ability to pay Tax should be based on a person's ability to pay and there should be equality of sacrifice. That is, the burden of tax should be according to one's ability. The equity principle says that the taxpayer should be levied in accordance with their ability to pay. Ability to pay is usually based either on income disparity or on the differences in expenditure of consumers. In this case, those that spend more are made to pay more tax. Economy The amount spent in the cost of collecting tax should be smaller than the amount collected. Therefore, it emphasizes on the cost effectiveness of tax system. Convenience the method and time of co tax collection should be convenient to the tax members. Pay as you earn is considered the most convenient method of tax system because workers are made to pay when they receive their salary and at their various workplaces. Certainty Taxpayers should know the exact amounts they are expected to pay as tax, when and how to pay it. Revenue yield a good tax system should yield enough revenue to the government and also not hinder production. Fiscal Instruments A good tax system should form a fiscal instrument used in controlling inflation and deflation. Simplicity A good tax system should be simple enough for everybody's understanding. Easy to collect People collecting the tax should not find it difficult to collect. Flexibility A good tax system changes with the changing circumstances in the area it is charged. It should be responsive to economic realities. Impartiality There should be no discrimination in the imposition and collection of taxes, which means, which means that people of equal financial positions should pay the same amount as tax. Types of taxation There are two types of tax or taxation. They are direct and indirect taxation. Direct taxation As the name indicates, it is, it is collected directly from individuals and profits of companies. The burden of direct tax is borne by the payers. The taxpayers are usually aware of the payment of such tax. Indirect tax There are taxes levied on locally made, imported and exported goods and services. These taxes imposed 
on goods and services are later transferred to consumers in form of higher prices. And this is why they are called indirect. The payers of these taxes do not bear the final bronze. Rather, they are usually imposed on finished goods and services and shifted to consumers in the form of increase in prices. Incidents and Effects of Taxation There are two types of incidents of taxation. There are formal incidents of taxation and effective incidents of taxation. Formal incidents of taxation. This refers to the initial effects of tax on the tax object, that is the taxpayer. For direct tax, the taxpayer bears the bronze while the manufacturers or the middlemen bear the bronze of the tax initially. Effective incidence of taxation. Effective incidence of taxation refers to who bears the final bronze of the tax. For direct taxes, the payer bears the full bronze of taxation, while the bronze may be borne by the manufacturers or consumer if it is indirect tax. The elasticity of demand determines the extent to which the consumer or producer, or producer bears the bronze of the incidence. Effects of taxation. The following are the effects of taxation. 1. It reduces production. This means that if exercise duties are high, production will be adversely affected. It increases prices of goods. It means that the producers will normally try to recover the amount they paid in form of excise duties by raising the prices of the goods on which tax was paid. It discourages savings. The amount one pays as tax may have may have been what would have consulted or may have been what would have constituted the payer's savings. It causes scarcity of goods. Taxation reduces the quantity of goods produced locally and imported, thereby causing, causing scarcity of goods. It reduces the income of workers. No matter how small or big an income tax is, it reduces the total income of a worker. It may lead to inflation. Reduction of direct taxes and Increase in indirect taxes will make more money to be in circulation, while few goods will be available, thereby causing inflation. It may also lead to deflation. This means that if indirect tax is reduced and direct tax is increased, deflation will be the outcome of such actions. It also discourages hard work. It means that when greater proportion or portion of one's income is taken away as tax, the person will not have the zeal to work hard again. Taxation also discourages investors. It means that both local and foreign investors will be scared away if there is high taxation, especially company and excise duty taxes. Uses or importance of taxation 1. Taxation can be used for defense purposes. 2. To narrow the gap between the poor and the rich. 3. Taxation serves as a fiscal device. 4. It provides social amenities to people. And lastly, it is used to maintain internal law and order. Problems of tax collection. The following are the problems of tax collection. 1. Insincerity of the collectors. This means the majority of them are after the personal purse and are ready to receive bribe from taxpayers, no matter how small in place of the actual amount they are supposed to pay. Improper book of accounts. Majority of the traders keep improper or no book of account at all. It leads to tax evasion. It means that many people do, will not fulfill their civic responsibilities by paying tax as as and when due. High cost of taxation. High taxes scare the potential payers away. It leads to lack of provision of amenities. Many people will believe that the money they pay as tax is used only for the provision of social amenities. We resist payments of tax if these 
if these anticipated amenities are not provided. First declaration of income. Many workers, especially those in private firms, do not declare their real incomes. Ignorance of the importance of taxation. Many people, as a result of ignorance, think the money is for the tax collectors and therefore refuse to pay tax. Structure or reasons why the government imposes tax. The following are the reasons why government imposes tax. 1. To raise revenue. 2. To redistribute income. This is achieved if the income tax is made to be progressive in nature. 3. For the, protec for the protection of infant industries. This is done by heavily taxing foreign made goods in order to discourage their importation. As a fiscal device, tax is used to counteract inflation and deflation. For general administrative purposes, the administrative machinery of a country may collapse if there is no money to maintain it. Tax, therefore, forms one of the sources of such money. To stop the importation of dangerous or harmful goods. Taxes imposed on such goods are high in order to discourage their importation. Prevention of dumping. To help prevent dumping in the country. Promotion of economic growth. This will help promote the level of economic growth in the country. And lastly, to correct an adverse balance of payments. Structure of public expenditure on government budgets. 1. Defense. The government of every country spends huge sum in defending its territorial integrity. 2. Food and agriculture. West African countries spend more money in agricultural sector because it is the backbone of their economies apart from providing food for their citizens. Maintenance of internal peace and security. To achieve this, the police, courts and prisons have to be fully equipped and maintained. For economic expenditure, these expenses are in the area of industries, mining, trade, transport and communications. Administrative expenses. Salaries and wages of employees of government are paid from government purse. Social service expenses. The government of every country allocates a huge sum of money for the provision of social amenities to the people in return for the taxes they paid. For external expenditures, a country spends a sub substantial amount in maintaining its embassies in other countries and belonging to international organizations and in giving loans, gifts, and aids to other nations. To grants to state and local authorities. A nation that adopts federalism has this as one of its items of expenditures. Expenses on servicing of loans. Paying interest on borrowed money as well as paying part of all the principal amounts borrowed internally and externally reduce huge sum of money from government purse. Effects of public expenditure on government budget. 1. Distribution of wealth Certain government expenditures tend to redistribute income on, and wealth that you are hated to in inequitable distributed. Expenditures in the provision of free education, low-cost housing, free medical care, mass transit program, Benefits mainly the poor and low income groups who could not have afforded them with their major incomes. Effects on production Government expenditure in the provision of infrastructural facilities such as electricity, roads, air, seaports, and communication facilities, also called social capital, also called social capital affects production directly and indirectly. Such expenditures usually have expansionary effects on the economy. Another effect of public expenditure or government exp expenditure is allocation of resources. 
The allocation of resources to different areas is greatly affected by public expenditure. Through public expenditure, resources that are in abundance in certain areas are distributed to areas where they are scarce. Effects on employment Public expenditures also tend to create employment opportunities, thereby increasing public thereby increasing people's income. Government aid expenditure in the establishment of National Directorate of Employment in Nigeria has positively affected employment of school leavers. Also, government expenditure in the establishment of industries and public corporations has created a lot of employment opportunities. Lastly, effects on national income. Government expenditure on economic activities has a tendency to affect national income of the country. Expenditures in the exploration and exploitation of mineral resources, manpower development that increase skills and efficiency of labor, and this tends to increase level of national income of the country. We have looked at the systems of taxation and its meaning.